Hi everyone, my name is Kasia and this is the short introduction to Monkey. I will explain how it can accelerate your workflow and boost your productivity. Monkey is a quick command manager. It means it will provide you with a quick access to commands you can find by typing their name or quick name or pressing their hotkeys. You can call Monkey by pressing the top left key of your keyboard, like for most consoles you may see in games. It can then be used as a pop-up that stays on top of the editor or as a docked window, according to your preference. Once you open the console, you can directly search for your command by typing the name and pressing Enter to execute it. Monkey is designed to reach all its functions using only the keyboard, so you can save time in Unity and access your command smoothly. But what are those commands and how will they help you? Commands are operations made to replace things you do in the editor on a regular basis that are annoying, repetitive, demotivating and feel like wasting your time, such as renaming many objects, instantiating prefab, searching for game objects and assets, moving objects precisely or things like scene management. They can also be operations you simply cannot do in the editor itself and are added by us to make your life easier. Those let you achieve results that would otherwise be problematic or simply out of reach. So what kinds of commands are available and what do they do? There are commands for as many time-saving things as we could think of. And Monkey is here to help you find the one you need at a given time, so that you don't have to wonder what to use. In total, Monkey offers more than 130 commands. Almost all of them can be applied to a group of objects, so you don't have to redo the same operation many times. They fall in different categories, such as object and asset creation, object modification and copy, level design, UI, prefab management, animation, and many more. Check the link in the description to see the full list. A good example of commands affecting groups of objects are new instances under mouse and new instances between. Both let you conveniently spawn the objects you need on your scene. There are commands that will help you find assets or game objects, like find asset or find object, and commands to help you move objects around, like randomize rotation or locking chain. In fact, there are so many commands that going over all of them will take way too long in this video. If you want to know the full list of commands and read the explanations, you can check our documentation in the links below. It carefully describes the usage for each command and gives an example of situation in which it becomes handy. You can also check out the list of our top 10 most useful commands. They will surely help you getting started. There are quite few different subjects that Monkey can help you with. So how do you get around so many commands? How do you know what to use when? Monkey has a clever fuzzy search that lets you look for commands by keywords. The best way to get productive with Monkey is to try to identify situations in which you do something repetitive or when something annoys you, and to simply type keywords of what you're trying to achieve in the console. Monkey will suggest you some commands based on what you entered. For instance, let's say that you're looking for a faster way to find your asset. Typing find or asset will show you the command find asset that should cover your needs. If you use this command very frequently, you can memorize the quick name, in this case FA, or the hotkey, Ctrl plus D, in order to access the command even faster. If you still can't find the command that solves your struggle, let us know what additions you would like to see in the future or check our Trello to see what's to come. We're committed to add all sorts of useful commands. Feel free to check them out. What if you have very specific needs, use custom plugins or your own systems? In this case, you have two options. Use menu items or write your own commands. Monkey includes all the menu items it can find into the search panel, which means that all your plugin menu items are accessible in the console by default. For instance, Cinemachine camera creations are accessible directly in the interface. Writing your own commands for Monkey is also extremely easy. You just need to add an attribute to a static method and voila, the command is available on the plugin. You can also add a range of customization to the command, like the help text, the autocomplete for its parameters, and so on. If you want to know more about the command creation, please check out our user manual. We also advise you to add hotkeys to your custom commands. If it ends up sharing a hotkey with another command or perhaps a menu item, Monkey will let you know. Another lifesaver in our plugin allows you to have commands with as many parameters as you may need. Want to make a command with very advanced customization? 
the interface will automatically adapt to the amount of parameters you want. What's more, Monkey has a thin interface made especially for level design. It lets you combine few functionalities and quickly achieve results that are normally really hard to get, even with level design tools. You don't need to use custom windows that take room on your interface and are limited in their options. Just use few Monkey commands and enjoy. And that will be all for the quick presentation of Monkey Commander. I hope you liked what you saw. I can assure you that we use Monkey in our own game creation and we're committed to update it on a regular basis. Don't hesitate to send us your feedback so that we keep on improving the plugin.